Hi, this is Shane with the Rational Trader. It is late on Friday, January 4th. Just got back a little while ago. And a quick recap for the last two weeks. I've been on vacation. Um, I did trade the day before Christmas, which I put a video out on, so you can check out that. Uh, and then the three days after Christmas, I did not trade Monday before New Year's. I wouldn't need New Year's Eve. I was traveling that day. Um, but di I did trade the last three days. So let's take a look at that. Uh, noticeably absent here is the chart for 6E because I had uh, I had changed it for, to um, trade during the U.S. day session instead of the London session. And but I'd made a mistake, so I it was it was just too big a mistake for me to fix while I was um, on vacation. It, it was a fair amount of work. Uh, so that'll be back in sim on Monday. Uh, simming because I basically went live with it uh, when I shouldn't have. All right, I'm going a little too quick. I'd made I'd made changes switching from the London session to the USA session in terms of the model building. That's a fairly big change actually, um, and uh, really needed to be simmed for a week to make sure that uh, there were no issues. Uh, at, uh, as there were so we'll send that next week um, over here in the lower right is the yen which we'll look at in a minute I did sim that all this week um, setting that up uh, for live trading uh, probably next week um, today oil down seven ticks uh, gold up five so down down two ticks those are the same tick values so down twenty dollars well, let's just look at the trade activity logs. Um, so this is, let's see here now. So there's Christmas Eve. So this was where we ended, 2008. And then we're at 1993. So down, call it $20. So last week, a, a nice Christmas Eve, and then uh, minus 140 and minus 90. So up just a little bit that week. This week here, just these three days. Um, plus 115 on um, Wednesday and then down 130 and down 20 um, the last two days so down um, $35 uh, this week so nice small losses in terms of the loss weeks now at uh, 1993 at the end of week six here with uh, two of those weeks holiday weeks um, a couple of things uh, in oil I had I, I don't have it on, on screen here but I had a couple of instances where um, I missed uh, let me see if I can find it while I'm chatting I missed um, a really nice move because I'm trailing so tightly so quickly so we're, our, our trail is very aggressive right at the beginning of the at the beginning of the trade and then um, it, then we open it up, and uh, actually, I guess even then we're trailing by uh, only 15 ticks, so not very much. Um, it, yeah, here, here's the example. So you can see, you know, we get the entry here, which is just spectacular in terms of look at this run. All right, but um, the tra the way the trail works. Um, We are, you know, at 10 ticks, we're moving to plus 5, which is really tight. And then at plus 15, we're moving to plus 10, still really tight. And so it, it's got to pop or we're, we're, you, won't, you won't survive. And the um, here's a case where that happens. And one of the things I noticed is that these are 7 tick high bars. And so one of the things that we'll see happen in, at least in, in, these last two instances well there's only been two in six weeks but in these two instances um you know we'll get filled um and then we'll move the stop to say that you know like right there the blue bar if the market's going up um and then you can tell what happens is or, or rather we've gotten filled down here i should say okay and then the market is advanced enough to for us to move the stop to entry plus five 
Okay, so that that's this blue, the 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 second blue line right here. Okay, and then what what clearly is happening is the market is trading up and down uh, in this bar, and then coming all the way back down, tagging our stop, and then moving on because you know the the, the chart look the chart the chart looks like this. Uh, you know when the markets the markets advancing but we got stopped out and it looks like you shouldn't have and the that, but that's what's going on is intra bar we move the stop but you, you continue to trade up and down inside that bar and you get stopped out the simulation program does not understand that it doesn't take that into account it assumes that you know if the bar closed up that you you never came back down and, and touched any stop that, that you moved. Okay, so that's a, a, a weakness in the simulation program that's used to calculate, uh, you know, kind of what, what are the best trade parameters. Okay, and so we have that's why we, one of the reasons we have to keep an eye on it to see well, how often is that happening? If it's happening a lot, then I got to do something about it. If it's, if it's just now and again, then it's 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 not a big deal, all right. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll need to keep watching that. Um, let's take a look at the yen. The yen only traded. Uh, this is in sim. So we've been looking at live accounts. So this is uh, this is a live number here in 1993 after six weeks. Uh, the yen is in sim. I just set that up uh, prior to um, leaving for this week. So it only traded three days. Uh, the first day was pretty nice, actually. Um, 61 ticks, it turned out, 381.25. The next two days hit two losses and stops. So a total for the week, 206.25. On, this is the max risk you're taking, 87.50 uh, in that market, because it's um, seven tick stops, um, taking uh, two losses. And each, um, each tick is like 625, so not a lot of risk, but uh, clearly some potential there. So we'll see. Uh, this is there weren't any issues that I saw, so I could technically go live with this next week. So I may do that. I'll evaluate it over the weekend here, um, and then make that decision. Uh, I'd kind of like to do that because I, I'll have the the euro in the 6e in sim. It has to be in sim given the the, the, the level of change that was made. Um, I don't want to. I don't want another case where I made a mistake and end up uh, costing myself some cash because of that. Um, so I, yeah, but I'd like to have three markets going. So um, if when I'll review this in more detail personally, and then uh, I like what I see, I'll I'll run yen live next week and and the euro and sim, and then once the euro uh, pans out, if <laughs> if the euro pans out, then I'll add it in, and we'll have four markets going. Okay, that is it for today. Happy New Year, and I'm looking forward to 2019.